injured sea lion caused a stir near San Francisco's aquatic park today. Officials believe the animal was bitten by a shark. It was seen near the Hyde Street Pier and the Dolphin Club, where several swimmers have been recently bitten by sea lions, as we reported to you. ABC 7 News reporter Wayne Friedman is live now with the very latest. Wayne. Good afternoon, Dan. It's been a bit of a drama here today and in a very public place. Yes, a sea lion that appears to have been injured by a shark. Let's take a look first from Sky 7 from what we saw earlier today. Based on what eyewitnesses tell us, the sea lion appears to be suffering from a shark bite, which is not uncommon this kind of year. <laughs> the first reports came in around 9.30. Witnesses say the sea lion beached itself, then went back in the water, then went back to shore, then came back out and took refuge beneath a dock. About 2.30 this afternoon, a team from the Marine Mammal Center drove out to take a look. That proved difficult. We asked a staff veterinarian, Dr. Cara Field, if she could make a prognosis. It's impossible to know without getting a really good look at it. Um, many times as a shark is going into attack, the sea lion senses it and able to get away. And so there might just be a very, uh, like a more superficial bite. And these animals have a wonderful, robust healing response. So most of the time they heal great just on their own. But it's hard to tell without actually looking at the sea lion. Now a closer look from the pier. Clearly, this sea lion is swimming. It's blowing bubbles. We're told those are all very good signs. As of late this afternoon, an even better sign. The sea lion appears to have moved away from this area. Where? We don't know. As we come back live, we assume the sea lion is somewhere out there. One other bit of good news. If you're a swimmer here at Aquatic Park and you worry that the same shark that got the sea lion might get you, don't. We're told this probably happened at sea beyond the Golden Gate. Live from Aquatic Park in San Francisco, Wayne Friedman, ABC 7 News. Yes.